Oh, look at that. Kill Kangu up. And we get a little lost experience. And the AI is actually using the skin formation as well. Look at that. Too bad that it ain't really gonna help him. I mean, I say lower tier units, but like, there is no such thing as lower tier when it comes to Roman infantry. Except if they have the auxiliaries on them. Okay, that's the full wave slotted. Now the problem is, like, if I could kill them while they're coming out of the water from Atlantis, that would be nice, but you can't actually. I mean, I'm gonna try, let's see what happens. I'm fairly sure you can't kill them while they're in the water. The, the game's lacking out because of the water effects over there. Killed him. Soldier! Oh, the oh, the infantry is still coming out. Okay, we cannot hit any of those down there. Such a dumb way to spot. Not only are they from Atlantis, they're undead as well. Well, um, they wouldn't breed, would they, right? The bigger problem is that that means each one of these battles is going to be like that. Uh, but there's only 600 of them left, right? So we should be fine. Once we slaughter the first wave. Do still have a ton of cow left. Fuck. Whoa. Okay, no, apparently the stunts a bit different. They spread out their cavalry into two categories. Groups. If these, if these guys are gonna leave their posts, as it were, let's like just squeeze in there.
No, 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 don't get stuck in the tree. Uh, the good thing about this is, as long as they're moving, they're not really effective as archers. Or any ranged unit for that matter. Is falling in. I'm going to actually like go back horse archers and like wait for the rest of them to get in there on the map should make sure I don't run off the map. Okay, since this is gonna take a while, I'll just go take a piss while the uh, troops do their thing. So we are right back. I was about to say, are they dead yet? But not. We have a wonderful error. So, that's fun. I don't remember, I'm not sure when the game last saved. Hopefully after one of those battles. So we just hope to resolve the last one. Come on. Unfortunate. Well, hello. Let's look at burning empires. Maybe it's out. Okay, there we go. Obvious wasn't capturing it for a second there. 
burning at plants. Yeah, last version was for 1.8, unfortunately. I do have a Discord channel. the game or update the mod announcements no it doesn't look like they update the game unfortunately yet anyway I, mean, I don't really need to use a mod actually to do the Viking or not Viking when we're an engine god playthrough you could do that on the base game, actually. Because the Empire is close enough to, like, Byzantium anyway. But I'll still look into some mods that will change maybe something aesthetically. Or make the Sturgeons a little bit better, because I am going to be a Sturgeon Lord and all my, all my, uh, my whole party is going to be Sturgeon troops, basically. That's going to be the idea. Okay, no, it didn't save on the last one. But second to last, I believe. We're just gonna, I'm just going to shoot through the rest of their higher tier troops, then we're going to auto resolve it. Oh, I have no clue why the game crashed. doesn't crash again because there might be something with uh, with the you know finishing the battle and you know because they should I don't know I'm still not sure how uh, does the garrison react when you know the army besieging it does you know get attacked I believe it's only when you do start a siege battle can you pull the rest of them out So like if an army is besieging and you run in before they start the siege, you can't pull out the garrison to help you out, for example. Seems like it works like that.
Okay, something like that should work out. God damn, they have a lot of cap. You know, says I. <laughs> but, you know, still. get up right in their faces see how that works out for us probably bad the thing is here yeah, i do have some roman caps so i'm not quite sure when it's an enemy one and one sours whoops Maybe I should just slaughter them as they come out of Atlantis. Never mind. They got shields. Okay, we killed enough of them. Let's uh, get away and alt resolve the rest of them. No, there's still towns. God damn. We did pretty decent now. We only lost 100. Serves them right for being led by mercenaries. Well, we can find it on uh, spicy websites or Pirate, Pirate Bay. Almost which uh, version of the game we want. I do suggest buying the game if you don't want to. You know, pick up some any or any uh, viruses and such, because you never know the torrents these things. Maybe check Fit Girl ring packs. That would be another one. Alright, we're gonna pick this up since we're gonna place it in the garrison anyway. You don't really need to buy it on Steam, you can buy it on uh, Instant Gaming, for example. Let me check how much is it on Instant Gaming, actually. I'm curious, because the 50 euros price tag is a bit much considering I bought it for like 20 back in the day. Okay, let's see. Ben Lord. Yeah, you can buy it over there for 50% price. Yeah. Affiliate, if you want, help me out a little bit. I think the official game is always better than just pirating it. You never know when you're gonna run into viruses and such, like I said. Come on, just destroy the wall over there. Ooh, 40 troops deserted. But the biggest problem with that, like 40 troops deserted. 
Most of that is going to be like higher tier troops you do have. Let's uh, alter resolve this as well. So we can get in quicker. And deal with the boar bane. Increase damage against mounted troops. Hmm, not bad actually. If we weren't playing as the horse lords, right? Well, that looks awful. Pillage, I'll take it for myself. Dungeon. They're a... God damn, they're all pure, apparently. I mean, now uh, we still have one castle to pick, take. Take up, yeah. Now it might be a good like time to like talk to all of these in the dungeon. Maybe persuade some of them or some shit like that. Let's upgrade all this. And these. Now I'm gonna look at uh, what we're gonna leave here. Garrison. That's already pretty good. Let's see, footmen, we can leave those. Tribal raiders, sure. Lancers, we want to keep. Horsages, we want to keep. I guess we can get rid of some of the infantry. I might as well just switch out the. Uh, we do still need these for banner guys. Where are they? Arm um, yeah, right above. <laughs> Fucking, I'm blind as ever. Was wait. Now for a second there, I thought I saw like noble, uh, not noble, but like special unit for the Romans in the garrison. I want to grab all of those. for this we're gonna give it to let's see okay let's get this out of the way first uh sure give it to him yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of class who have a ton of like stuff and the other ones have fuck all if clans let's see yeah this guy we don't want to give anything to him that's for sure Merry men. Okay, these have these have a city. These have a city. Mm. I guess let's get. Ah, oh, they have a city already. Let's give a Sammy's clan another beef. It's this one, all right? Should be. Now, where's the other party? Okay, they're there. Two, three thousand troops over there. These two have three thousand troops. Boys. Steam unlocked. I don't know. I wouldn't use any of those fake steams that apparently you can download all the games from. I don't think they work anymore. You just use the torrent websites. Should be able to find something there. Just make sure you have an antivirus active. And of course, like, you know, look at the download. If it's a couple of megabytes, it's a virus for sure. Traveling to Rehurst and Besiege. Okay, this guy's gonna defend. If this one. Hmm. 
How big an army can they have? It looks like it's bigger than this. No, they're engaging it. Engaging the party that's over there. Which shouldn't mean they can care of it. They can take care of it. Lovely, they're building the other things now. Did they lose another clan member? No, it should still be fine. Well, I guess we don't really need to save that. As long as I take this, we should piece them out. Why? Oh, it's the mercenaries that have a shell of the troops, of course. Makes sense. Well, even if they take that castle, it's gonna be piss easy to take it right back, so not, big of a, not that big of a deal. Tribesmen? Did I not sell the pri- oh, I didn't sell the prisoners, shit. I must have more money, 6 million eight enough. Or almost 7 million. That was a pretty decent army going the other way, but we should piece them out. Come on, just destroy the walls. Whoa! Right. The fuck are you doing down here? You could go up north, you bastards. The fuck are they're traveling to Verchek to besiege, but it looks like they're waiting for me to take this, then, you know. Kinda try and snatch it right back. Probably not gonna work out for them. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. We don't want either of these. Why did I even recruit? Yeah, good night, Hunter. There's always wads if you want to watch more of this. Okay, let's attack. See if I get I have if I have control over my own units. I do not. Why would I? Why would I have the control of my own units? Such a... I always find it weird when... Sometimes they spawn... The spawns on this map are weird. Some, like, sometimes there's like no defenders over there. Sometimes they spawn out of them. Make sure they don't get stuck there. Up, up, come on. I don't know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, this is this is the right way. I think you can't shoot your own horse. That would be... That would be an issue.
Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I'm not sure if it's... Hmm. Probably not going to be able to make it up, though. Oh, come on. Nah. Got to ditch the horse. That's... Come on. Would have been fucking funny if he actually made it up, though. Pick up the ammunition. Nah, that doesn't matter. There's only one guy left. Ah, oh, I think he's in the tent. Yeah, sure looks like it. Never mind, they got him. Whichever map has a. Uh, if, there, if there's a tent on the map, the enemies can spawn inside of a tent. Then actually killing them might be an issue. You might Sometimes you need to retreat to actually win the battle. Which is a bit shit. Oh, we're not gonna have much to put in this garrison. What's up, Kung Fu? Sure, go ahead. Take this one. Yeah, we need to kill these immediately. They won't give out quests. They can only give quests if they have this. Like when you go into a village. They, you know, you see the village guys here. If they have the quest marker above them, they can, they have, they actually have a quest. If they don't, they don't, they don't have a quest. Do, those do refresh Hail to you, after brother a while. Of war. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Yeah, the, you know, the uh, the normal quest markers, blue and yellow. Yellow are the main quest, blue are the uh, the side quests, as it were. Yeah, no problem, man. We are over the limit. Right, prisoners. Doesn't matter. Oh, you fucked up now. Oh, never mind. Maybe they did. Oh, they did. Oh, this is gonna be a mountain pass battle. Oh, fuck. Oh, that ain't gonna be good. Mountain pass battle with surgeons. Okay, never mind. You know, you know, by the look of where you are on the map, you would think you would be in a narrow pass in the hot gates. Versus, oh, uh, what it's it kind of is ranging guards, isn't it? Um, where the fuck am I gonna sit here? Um, could go back, I guess, near the edge of the map. And if we do want to be in a clearing, we could go up there, maybe camp, but pro they're probably going to go up there. I mean, th that's not a big issue. If the enemy is on a hill, then you can shoot at them, so it's not that big of a deal. You can pick, up, pick them off easily if they're on the hill. Ah, once again with the three infantry lines. So troops, everyone, hold fire! I'm gonna need to kill these. Swing and a mess. Are these all of their lords? Oh my god, they are. Well, most of them anyway. Oops. Oops.
Yeah, well, all of these are lords. Too bad for them, I guess. Oops. Oops. Okay, there we go. Let's get them up here first, then behind them. Hopefully not get lands, they do have a lot of horses. Maybe I should, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do that before I stop playing this one and go on to Varangian Guard if no one else votes, apparently. I wanna look if, I'm, I didn't look if Eagle Rising actually changed the uh, elite units here for them. Sergians as well. Oh no 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 no. Because funnily enough, having Lancers here as you're playing with the, you know, I think with the style. I think I think with these I ah, can't say it. Roman era style troops is um, a bit deadly. Towards us. We have a lot of line breakers. In theory, we should be able to like wreck them. In theory, their cav is fucking a sore though. the hill as well. Let's move the infantry up. You, not you guys. You stay there. Infantry should be able to kind of match him. They are. Hmm. Let's get our archers on this flank up here. Like, get these behind them. The line breakers. Probably enough, uh, the only unmodded faction is gonna cause more issues for us than the modded ones, apparently. Forward. 
And I'm dead. Okay, so if we do our horse launches like this, they should be able to slaughter those on the line breakers over there. There we go. We want to restart because we're kind of running out of ammunition at this point. Enemies are close. How dare they? Ah, right, that did go down. Well, we can do this the RTS way. Let's see, increased movement speed, increased movement speed, but increased range of weapon accuracy. Weapon accuracy, I guess. Uh, increased mount movement speed for sure. Our AI is already. S uh, I guess we're gonna let them do their thing. Horse launchers come this way this time. Thing. Not really a good place to place our own arches here. It's all kind of hilly. What we can do is like come at them from the flank. Cam is uh, kind of not, kind of getting slaughtered by the air infantry. This is probably fine. We, we move too close. Their infantry is gonna not aggro, but we do have the pilum. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Our archers are almost where they should be. Let's move these up. If you get horse archers behind their lines, that's going to be really good because, you know, most of them don't have shields. Even though, look at the foxmen go. 
Run, man, run. Okay, the infantry is formed up into one line. Get up here. Maybe not. No, they, they, they're just bunching up for some reason. Freezing up there. a bad time to spread out the infantry. I got smashed in the back by the cab. Oh, there are reinforcements coming in. Mostly low. T wait, wait. Where did our reinforcements come from? Okay, there we go. We are fighting the. Northman is going to be a bigger issue than anything else so far. I guess the Aisha will be the closest to them because they do have the Falksman and Heavy Cav. But they are a lot less armored, I believe. Even though this uh, mod is fairly balanced. the city with them. Let's maybe get some more horses. You never know. Fifty fifty on the votes. Okay, that should peace out the Northern Empire again for the third time. Hopefully, this time is going to be the last time we have to deal with them. Uh, the Sturgeons are going to be... Our Northmen should be an, will be an issue a little bit. Okay, there we go. Span these, let them replenish. We actually lost 15 guys as well. This guy doesn't get anything. Does he still have a faction? Fraction? Faction? Fraction in, the, in there. No, that's the other guy. Who I also, I think, persuaded or something. Okay, no. I'll put these in the prison. Never mind. Placing people in prisons. Ain't no such thing, man. For a player? No way. Unless it's our prison, I guess.
Okay, everything's fine here. Loyalty influence, good. Let's dump a, a mill, why not? How non imperial kingdom? If you go through the main quest, quest I'm fairly sure you can uh, make any kind of kingdom you want. If that's what you mean. If you go through the banner quest line, you can choose, you can join in what, whichever kingdom you want. And if you do create a kingdom, you get the choice of culture which you want to follow. So you can, if, you, if you're if you the king, if you create a new faction, you can choose whichever f culture you want. It looks like there's three armies going up there to deal with the Sturgeons. Yeah, once you create a faction, you get the choice between uh, which culture you want to have. Or if you do it by the quest line, you can just... There's two options. Or You can give any of the kingdoms the banner and join them. So there's, what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight choices there. Right? Three empires, yeah. Or you can create your own and have your choose any of their cultures to be your own. This is Eagle Rising though, this is a uh, changes all the cultures on the map. Okay, they do have enough food, let's dump a Okay, we can't dump a million into this one. Party composition 159 mounted skirmishers. Looks like we're gonna need to get more skirmishers. Just go through all of these. Looks like this town is the only one where we can actually dump a million into it. And here, we go for civil infrastructure. Now let's get some. Uh, I did. Uh, did I even do a tournament this run at all? Maybe at the beginning. Train, get some more food. You know we don't really need to. Let's get all the none grain and fish ones. Garrison. Horse Lords. We, will, we wouldn't need lances. We would need the other guys. Horsemen. Those are melee as well. So, uh, we're, we're, I'm blind. There they are. The lances. Horse archers, there we go. I guess let's uh, pick up the rest in heavy lances. Kill them are at capacity. All of them are going up there. Let's see how big the army besieging that is. I can take that on, right? Surely. It'll take more losses than I would like to, though.
Well, that guy is kind of fucked. We ain't getting out of this one. Okay, maybe I should help them out a little bit, speed this up. Uh, maybe even... Well, I don't think I can uh, kill them off in this go. The war is auctioned pretty high at this point. Unfortunately, fighting the Scythians, the OG Scythians, doesn't really help out. Because they're raiding shit behind lines, behind our lines. Let me check something. Okay, stats. Yeah, they're practically beaten. Northern Empire. I swear to God, if they grab something else, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna start chopping their heads off. Okay, 10k. 10k. The Asian's kind of recovering a little bit. What's up, Rexus? It's been a while. How are you? How's New Year's treating you? Okay, that's enough of them there. We don't need to help out. Make peace with cities. Play normal Mountain Blade, I'll help. I play, help me. Uh, I, I did tell you, uh, the game just doesn't run well on my PC. It has frame skips, for whatever reason. And since I installed, I think... Uh, well, since I actually got the new PC. Yeah, Happy New Year's and Christmas as well. Like, the... the a little frame skips, frame lags. I can't really explain it. The war band, yes. And I tried installing uh, the Steam version, the GOG version, the fucking uh, uh, official website version. You can download it, put the key code in. A pirated version, they all have the same issue. I don't know why. With and without Viking Conquest as well. Yeah, I do have Warband. I do have Warband uh, playthroughs on my channel even. Where the... Didn't I invite more of them? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 what happened over there? What? Some of them just went to zero, or am I tripping? I do have a. Uh, playlists where the fuck are these? I think this is the last one I did for Prophecy of Pendle. And there's one where I changed Prophecy of Pendle, so it's like uh, Prophecy of Rome in there as one. It's been four years. What the hell's happening with these? Ah, the game bugged out. W wonderful. 